Hello friends, so today we can discuss this question from good courses named fence. In this question you are given a fence in front of Polycarpus home and the height of each plank is given and, and so what the problem is he has to take out K fences to move some of his uh, Polycarpus has bought a posh piano, so if he wants to move that piano into his house, so because there is fence around his home, he has to take out exactly k consecutive planks from the fence so that he can take out his piano into his house. Okay, so uh, write a program to find the index of k consecutive planks with minimum total height because if the height is minimum, he can easily pluck those fence out. Okay, the fence are not in cyclic manner. So, what this is question statement says that there are seven fences and you have to take out three consecutive plants. So, we can easily do this question using prefix sums or you can do a sliding window technique. In this question, I am doing prefix sum. If you want a sliding window technique also solution, I can also put that. Please mention that in the comment box. So, let's take the example of the same question. These are the number of fences, the height of the fences and you have to take out k consecutive planks. So you can make a prefix array. This is a prefix array. The initial is 0. Then this is 1. Then 2 plus 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 9. So you can easily do what is. You take the index and you add it to the latest filled prefix array value. So 1 plus 9, 10, 1 plus 10, 11, 11 plus 7, 18, 18 plus 1, 19. So when we completed the prefix array, okay. Now we want a want to take out the size k. Okay. Let's assume we take out this. So in the prefix array, we want a size of 9. It occurs at here. So we have to take out plants from 0 to k because 3 is actually k. So we have to move our prefix al, uh, index. Uh, so we have to move our prefix uh, range is from 0 to k. Then we move from 1 to 4, 2 to 5. That is the difference between them. 3 minus 0 is equal to k. So I have written down all the answers. This is 9. If I see from 1 minus 10, it's 9. 3 minus 11 is 8, 9 minus 18, uh, and so on. Okay, as you can see, 9, 19 minus 9 is 9. Okay, so the minimum among all this is 8, and uh, that. So we have to return out actually the index, the starting index. So the starting index of this, this occurs at 1, 2, 3rd place. So we have to print out this number. At which, which position this occurs. Okay. So that's the code. Let's write it. Okay. So we can start by inputting n and k. Then we make a vector of a. And we input all the entries. Then we make a prefix array of the maximum size. Because our first value is already filled at 0, so we have to fill from i plus 1, which is equal to the previous of i plus a of i. Now, we have to find our minimum total. So we initialize it with a very large number at start. And we have to find out the index actually, which we have to print. So we start our loop. 
and we have to go till n minus k because at this position only uh, this position only we have to go because further that there are no more fences to take a consecutive k block so at this block we can take this block this whole block 10 19 minus 10 is equal to 9 so that's why we go from at this position which is so if our size is 11 uh, so our size is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so 7 minus 3 So then in total is equal to so now we find out the value it's i plus k minus pref, uh, prefix in it then if total is less than mini total mini total is equal to total and we also have to update the index which is equal to i plus 1 because i index is start from 0 but we have to start from 1 so 1 2 3 so it's, we have updated from i plus 1 and after the loop Give the right answer. Let's submit it. It's accepted. I hope you understand the logic. If you still have any doubts, please mention now. I'll try to rectify it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.